Number 10. October Sky. Too. There's calculus differential equations. No, I learned the math. The true story of a small town boy with big dreams, who goes against his father's will and follows his dream of building rockets. Inspired by the dawn of the space age and the historic launching of the Soviet satellite Sputnik, it's 1957 in Colwood, West Virginia and while most of the town mines the Earth, young Homer Hickman dreams of only the sky. Homer's potential is limitless and when he starts winning science fairs and scholarships he's on a non-stop journey straight to the stars. Homer enlists his two best buddies as well as the school's resident math geek to help him design and launch space rockets. Homer's father demands that his son get serious about his future and abandon his silly science projects. Homer's hopes he will prove his ticket to a better life. Truly inspiration movie. Must watch. Number 9. Coach Carter. To the court. Your boys don't need practice. Inspired by the true story of controversial Richmond, California basketball coach Ken Carter, who received both high praise and staunch criticism when he made national news for benching his entire team undefeated team for poor academic performance. Tension mounted as the Richmond High Oilers faced the upcoming basketball championship. The town was wild with excitement over their undefeated team and the bleachers were filled with cheering fans for every game. No one could imagine that on January 4, 1999 the community would erupt in dissension and so many lives would change forever, when Coach Carter padlocked the gym, refusing the players access for failing to keep up their grades. Inspiration for Players and Common Man Number 8. A Beautiful Mind Adam Smith said, the best result comes <laughs> from everyone in the group doing what's best for himself, right? That's what he said, that's right? Incomplete. Incomplete. Okay. The biography of John Forbes Nash Jr., an award-winning mathematician, and his struggle with schizophrenia. From the heights of notoriety to the depths of depravity, John Forbes Nash Jr. experiences it all. A mathematical genius. He made an astonishing discovery early in his career and stood on the brink of international acclaim. But the handsome and arrogant Nash soon found himself, on a painful and harrowing journey of self-discovery, once he was diagnosed with schizophrenia. After many years of struggle, he eventually triumphed over this tragedy, and finally, late in life, received the Nobel Prize. Number 7. Cast Away An ambitious corporate troubleshooter is stranded on a deserted island for five years, eventually returning to society as a changed man. Chuck Noland, an engaged, workaholic Federal Express inspector, travels around the world testing the effectiveness of international shipping offices. But when a plane crash leaves him stranded and isolated from other human beings on a remote Pacific island for four years, Chuck slowly becomes transformed both mentally and physically as he attempts to survive. This harrowing personal struggle ultimately brings him to a simple zen-like understanding of what things in this world, in his world, are truly important. You have to watch this movie for real inspiration. Number 6. Dead Poet Society oh, is this a dagger I see before me? Set in an exclusive boys' preparatory school in 1959, a newly appointed English teacher uses unconventional techniques to inspire his students in classic poetry. This story takes place in 1959 at Welton School, a prep school for boys. John Keating, a former student at the school, begins working in the school as an English teacher. With his unique teaching methods he inspires his students to be themselves and act like individuals. He teaches them to think for themselves and to seize the day. With the boys having a new way of viewing life, they follow their thoughts, and form a new dead poet society. Number 5. Forrest Gump Forrest Gump tells his remarkable life story to a stranger. Despite his subnormal IQ he led a charmed life, present at some of the most memorable events of the mid-20th century. Forrest Gump taught Elvis Presley to dance became a football star in met JFK and LBJ. He served with honor in Vietnam and spoke at an anti-war rally at the Washington Monument. 
he met Richard Nixon and later stumbled onto the break-in at the Watergate. He ran a successful shrimping business, was an original investor in Apple computers, and ran back and forth across the country for several years. And all the time, he never forgot Jenny, who he loved as a boy, and made her own journey through the turbulent decade. Number 4. The Shawshank Redemption empty, and then stop to reload. Andy Dufresne, a mild-mannered New England banker, is convicted of murdering his wife and her lover. Despised at first by the other inmates because of his introverted manner, Andy slowly forges an unlikely friendship with Red, a seasoned lifer and his gang. Soon, Andy also becomes popular with the prison guards, including the vicious Captain Hadley who offers him protection against the jail's rougher convicts in exchange for financial. Over a 20-year period, Andy is able to maintain his sanity and dignity in prison not by physical force but by mental force. His smarts and confidence keep him going and he is able to teach the other prisoners that hope is the ultimate means of survival. A man discovers himself after he is sentenced to life in prison. Number 3. Into the Wild. I'm going to Alaska. Alaska, Alaska? Or City, Alaska? Chris McCandless was a young and hugely dissatisfied college student, who dropped out of society and lived as a hobo wandering America. Whether you agree or disagree that he was reckless, or even stupid, his determination to get away from consumerism and materialism, and to live a simpler life, is entirely relatable. Christopher McCandless, son of wealthy parents, but he chooses to give his savings to charity, rid himself of his possessions, and set out on a journey to the Alaskan wilderness. His death in the wilds of Alaska created a legend. Number 2. Schindler's List who says that? Everyone. Including Best Picture. Businessman Oscar Schindler, Liam Neeson, arrives in Krakow in 1939, ready to make his fortune from World War II, which has just started. After joining the Nazi party primarily for political expediency, he staffs his factory with Jewish workers for similarly pragmatic reasons. When the SS begins exterminating Jews in the Krakow ghetto, Schindler arranges to have his workers protected to keep his factory in operation, but soon realizes that in so doing, he is also saving innocent lives. Must watch movie. It's inspiring us from core, and motivate us. And last number one motivation movie is... Soul Sufer. It's not gonna be easy. I don't need easy. I just need possible. Thirteen-year-old Bethany Hamilton is a champion surfer who was born to be in the water. But after a fun night out night surfing and what should be a fun day in the water, she is attacked by a shark and loses her arm. Rushed to the hospital, she remains calm, and maintains her faith in God. Now she has to relearn how to do everything with only one arm, including how to surf. It will take her friends, family and her Christian faith to get her back into the water, but if that is where she is meant to be, she will find a way to get there. She plans to return to competition, although questions about her future continue to trouble her. Upon seeing the devastation in Thailand caused by the 2004 tsunami, Bethany discovers a greater purpose, to make a difference in the lives of others.